We are here today to discuss two simple words, which when brought together are affecting our everyday lives and are becoming more and more important in our future. These words are climate change. Climate change will not only affect our lives, but our future generation as well, including my children and your grandchildren. This issue needs to be taken care of now, rather than later, before it's too late. Climate change has already started taking effect on our planet. There have been many natural disasters in 2016 alone. Major flooding in Louisiana, Typhoon Lion Rock in Japan, Storm Hermione off the coast of New Jersey, and it's even affecting our own nation, just like what happened in Fort McMurray with the forest fires. All these natural disasters are costing the world a lot of money to fix and repair. Take Hurricane Sandy, for example. It caused $62 billion worth of damage in the United States alone, and at least another $315 million in the Caribbean. If you do not pay to fix our environment now, and start using healthier and renewable types of energy, then we'll have to pay in the future by the escalating cost of these natural disasters. In the end, it will cost more to repair the damage than to switch to different sources of energy. We don't understand why governments are waiting, and why we're so scared to make a change. One big problem is that this change will cause a lot of problems with oil companies. We're not thinking about the future. We're thinking of the present and the money aspect involved. However, none of this is important if we think about the future generations who will have to deal with the aftermath of our poor decisions. This is our planet, our only planet. We need to take care of it no matter the cost or the losses we might suffer. People don't realize how big of a deal this actually is. We have to come to some solutions and agreements with other countries. But we have not taken action yet. Canada needs to join these agreements and become a part of the solution. We think that the People's Climate Plan holds considerable promise. This plan calls for three major principles. The first is meeting our commitment to, a one, to stay within a 1.5 degree world. And to do this, we must keep fossil fuels in the ground where they belong. The second principle calls for 100% renewable energy by 2050. At the end of June, the leaders of the United States, Canada, and Mexico met in Ottawa to agree that by 2025, 50% of their energy will come from zero emission sources. Hopefully by 2050, we'll be using 100% of our energy from zero emission sources. The third principle of the People's Climate Plan is that we want a plan that gives people justice. The people who are hardest hit by the effects of climate change are Aboriginal peoples and the fossil fuel industry workers who will need to find new jobs. But we can't just say it. We need to go through with it. We need region-specific solutions to maximize our efforts. We can use tidal power for near oceans, we can use wind in flat open areas, and we can use solar virtually anywhere. We can put a heavy tax on carbon so oil companies will be less likely to drill. We can use the tax on carbon to pay for these renewable energy sources, which will benefit our planet and help stop climate change. We know it's hard to ignore the vast resources Canada has to offer, but it's very important that we leave fossil fuels in the ground where they belong, and not chop down trees, because this will provide us with something very important, a healthy environment. Money can buy a lot of things, but it can't buy a healthy environment. Just like what's happening on the polar ice caps, once the ice is melted, you can't just buy more. Once the damage is done, it's done. This is our future. The future is coming, faster than you think. We as teens can't do much more than speak up. We need help. We are the advocates for the future generations who aren't asking for anything of us today. So, we have a question. Why are we scared? Why are we waiting? Why aren't we doing something? Why not now? Why do we not want to change our future's fate? The question isn't can we, it's will we. Thank you for your time. <laughs>